there are four commands in SQL data manipulation language. Select, which is for data retrieval, followed by insert, update, and delete. Insert allowed us to add a new record in a database table. Update allowed us to modify existing data in a database record. Delete allowed us to remove a record or records from a database table. So let's look at the insert statement. You can insert into a table and you can list the column from the table and then define the value which will be used to assign to the corresponding column. And in in this case we're insert into division table, we're not listing a list of column name within the division table. In this case we'll assume the first value would be the first column inside the division table. In this case I know it's division ID. The second column in this division table is director's employee ID and the third column is the um, division's name, in this case administration. And you may notice that the the value for a string column data type should be enclosed in single quote. The director's ID is a number, so we don't need to uh, include, uh, in, enclose it in single quote. And let's look at this example. I'm insert into the division table and its division name and division ID, where the values of division name is RND and the value of DID is D070. Okay. Let's um, take a look in Access how we can execute this insert statement. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to use Access, bring up Access. So in Access, I'm going to say Create. Query design. I'm going to close this show table. Let me expand this a little bit. I'm going to choose a pen, which really means insert in a record into the database. You choose the table where you want to insert a record into, in this case, division. One has once that has been chosen, you don't see it here. Uh, you don't have a visual cue here, and you want you want to say, okay, I want to insert something into division ID, a record with a division ID, a division name. I also want to have assigned a value to the division ID. So in this case, you can this value field, this row called field in this case should be where you set the value. For instance, you can say single quote R and D and the division ID you can enclose in single quote and say D0 let's use 7 0 and then we're done. Okay. So basically we're assigned the R and D as the division name, we're assigned D070 as a division ID for new record to be inserted into the division table. So let's look at, let's run it. And they say, are you going to append a row? We're going to say yes. Once that's done, if we go to division, we find out that record has been inserted. We did not insert any value to the director's column so this is empty or now. So this is how you actually uh, create an insert statement. Uh, you can so we can kind of come here and close it.
it's not saving it. Let's come back and look at the update statement. Update statement allow you to change the data in an existing record or records. For instance, here I want to update the instructor table. I want to set the last name to when only for the record where its instructor number is 21. This equal sign is an assignment statement. You're assigning this value when on the right hand side to the column name at the left hand side. Here this equal sign means equal, which means instructor number equal to 21. So this update statement together really means I want to change employee number 21's last name to when and nobody else. Okay. So let me copy this. In the we're going to try to play with the update function. It's still a query and we're just going to close it. That's a SQL view. If you do this, that's the update statement. Okay, let's first look at the instructors table. I have instructor number 21, it's called Blue Smith. And then we're going to change the last name to when. So we're going to change employee number 21's last name to when in quotation. Instructor number is a number, so we don't need quotation. So let's take a look. Um, let's go to query. Okay, you switch to the query design view, query and design view, and then if you say run, the system is going to update a particular row. I'm going to say yes, go ahead and do it. If you go back to the table, go to instructor, now you find out employee 21's last name has been changed to when. Okay. So the update has been accomplished uh, properly. You can save certainly this update statement. You're going to, I mean, let me just say update uh, last name of employee 21 to when so that's the query um, you say update uh, last name of employee so you can actually bring this back usually you want to say open in the design view um, if you look at the design view, uh, this may not make a lot of sense um, to you. Uh, I would suggest you, if you do insert update delete, use the SQL view. It's much easier. Okay, but let's try to do it in under the de design view. Query design. Let's not choosing any table. So I'm going to say close. We're going to choose update. Uh, let me backtrack. We go to show table and we say we want instructor table. And then we're going to choose the instructor table. And we're going to say, I want the, let's say, the last name. Let me change the last name back to Smith in single quote. 
and then I want the instructor number to be equal to 21. So that's actually the criteria. I want the instructor number 21's last name to change back to Smith. Okay, so let's run it. Say so you're about to update one row. Then I'm going to say yes, go ahead and do it. Let's see when that has been done. We come to table and we choose instructor. So now employee number 21's last name has been changed to Smith. Okay. Let's go back and quickly look at the syntax here. Okay, that's what exactly what we have been doing. This update statement um, means that we want to actually change the salary of all the inst we want to update the salary of all the instructors in division where means in divisions d zero one zeros to be ten percent more than their original salary which means you give everybody in division D010 a 10% increase uh, of their current salary. In this case, the update statement may impact multiple row or multiple column. For delete, uh, the syntax is very similar to the update. And you see, I want to delete from the instructors a table the employee number 52 then you're deleting a particular record if you want if you say I want to delete from the student table where the telephone number like 301 uh, this in access this should be asterisk in this case it means that you want to delete um, all the student whose telephone number started was 301 area code if you just say delete from division, um, then you're removing all the existing records in the division table. You are not removing the table itself. It's become it will become an empty table. So this concludes our uh, review of insert, update, and delete statement in um, SQL relational database and how you use the access sample database to perform those three operations.